Hello everyone, I'm just going to show you my build style for lifters. Okay, so first I start with a probe core. Alright, we need power so we can always control it. We need a decoupler. And this is medium lift so I'm going to go straight into the big tanks. So you want these biggest white tanks, you want two of them. And you want one of these engine clusters. From that, uh, your modifier key to, uh, key to copy, uh, this radial decoupler, uh, we want six. Yeah. Helps if I select the other one. See? Just enough room. So we strut that up, so just put around in a circle first. Uh, this one we want kind of a triangle going on here. So that, that, and I've already got that one. Uh, down the bottom, what I do, one side is a strut but the other side is a fuel line. Ah, uh, fuel lines also act like struts apparently, so... What did I do? I lost it. So... Yeah. So now we have like the outside cores draining into the inner ones. And just to make it look pretty, we'll just put these on. No one wants an ugly lifter. Okay, and that's the first step. Now, copy. So I believe it's um, on Windows it'll be the Alt key. On Linux I'm using right shift. And we just... Oh, when the camera stops buzzing out. That, and probably another one. Okay, and that should... oh yeah, I missed. Okay, so these aren't grabbing on here. Yeah, they should reach. There we go. So just make it so it's like... It's kind of like a triangle, or... Okay, triangle there, and then... You know, a funny rectangle thing. Was it parallelogram? Something like that. That there should lift pretty much all everything you ever needed. So I think it should do five oranges pretty easy. I'll just put that on for a payload. Let's just do some quick strutting here so it doesn't fall off, because it will. I think this should actually get to the moon with this amount of fuel. There we go. Uh, am I missing everything? Oh yes, I am missing something. Oh, mess engines. Whatever they are. Oh, so yes. Yeah, Verna engines. When they decide to go flat. Come on. What is this? KSB. Messing around with me. Oh, that's one six times one of four. Four times. Come on, it's flat. That's not flat. Come on. There you are. And we have control, we have movement. Probably want a little bit of reinforcing around here. It depends on how big your load is. Like you want to have four to four there. 
because the, the joints around this um, probe core are pretty weak. Uh, that's not four. I can't count, obviously. Alright, so basic explanation. You should have a some type of core that only just about lifts itself off the ground. So this engine and these two white tanks are one example. Another example are you could do the exact same thing with um, oranges and mainsails, like these two oranges and a mainsail. Uh, skipper orange works as well, but it's not. You don't get as much delta v out of it. And I think the Aeros bike and the FLs. This one are also a nice alternative for a core. Alright, so this I think will have no problems. Oh yeah, wait, reset the staging. All your engines down into the bottom one. And obviously that... what the... KSP, what are you doing? Five? I'm confused. Okay, here we are. Uh, uh, what is this? What? Okay. KSP has lost the plot. There we go. Yeah, it shows like this, I believe. So, that. No. That. That. Yeah. That's it. If, if we saved and reloaded that, that'd join into six. Alright, save. Pretty sure this will get to the moon. Alright, let's just launch. So yeah, you build a core and then keep building outwards for how many stages you need. If I think this would probably get to orbit if I only had uh, if I lost the other stages, definitely it would, still. I want to fizz warp this, but it doesn't look like that connection's strong enough there. Because if, if you pit, squish the part past the other one, they explode. Because they don't really collide in KSP. It's probably flying straight. Eh. Don't even need SAS. Anyway. Really, really want to maybe I'll turn engine is what. Don't nope. Doing doing. Ah, fizz warp. Why oh, you said crap? I didn't think that connection was very strong. Yeah, the probe core connection is not very strong. So what you can do with that is oh, I'll show you in massive lift when we get to orbit. I'm just going to gun it. I know this thing has enough fuel. Oh yeah, I don't use um launch clamps either. Not in this thing. If you can get them sitting on the engines, that's better. Because as physics eases in, your um thrust will be on the engines anyway and your craft is less likely to explode. Pity I can't fizz warp. Uh oh, what the? Uh oh, that's not right. Something's broken off. Oh no, that's just a center tank. Where is this? Yeah, 1.8 kiloton.
wobble, wobble. <laughs> uh, should use more strats. These should get me to orbital injection. Uh, where are we for our purposes? This has been a pretty steep um, launch tra uh, trajectory, but I do that for um, bigger crafts. Because if they don't have enough, uh, enough thrust in the final stage, you've got more time to burn. Assuming this is full when I get to orbit, I can probably take these to the moon. Because you only need about a kilometre, and that's only about half your weight, I think. And there's yelling going in the background. Okay. Don't start with this whole one. Nope. And I will have plenty of Delta V. It's actually the... Okay, I'm in orbit. Where's the moon? Uh, other side. Of course it is. Should be enough. Alright. Wait for moonrise. It's only 65, we won't deorbit on that. Turn now. Just about moonrise, I'm just trying to point back. I realize in the atmosphere, so I can't fizz warp, I mean, non time warp to stop rotation. Uh, abusing wonderful KSP bugs for profit. And any second now. I'll probably have to transfer with these other engines. Oh yeah, definitely. 
and it takes about three. Oh, because I'm still like 3.1 maybe. And a little bit more. There you go, crashing directly into the moon, so not going to leave any space junk. Alright, pointing 90 so I can move 90, you'll see. And I need to point a little bit south. So 90 and south. So about 50 I like going to. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have enough fuel to land this thing. Imagine landing would be quite tricky though. Especially with no landing legs and only that engine. And the moon being full of bumps. Probably doesn't help. So slow to turn. Oh yeah, these are all full. They're the payload. That's why they're not hooked up to anything. So periaps. 200 meter burn, so like I think it's 550 at this site. That's captured. Pretty sure it's 550 anyway. So 80, 70, 60, 50. I'm wrong. 500. That'll do. Anyway, uh, yeah. Sorry for this really crappy tutorial, but yeah, this is my lifter. That's what I lift everything with. Anyway, see you all later.